My name is Marlo Baines. I am the Youth Director for Earth Guardians and I'm 18 years old calling in from Boulder, Colorado. I've seen that the climate crisis, there is a certain level of bottom line business as usual thinking that is very destructive to our BIPOC communities. It's very destructive to the earth who doesn't actually have a voice, but that you can feel her. I mean, we rely on the land, we rely on clean air, clean water, and yet we continue to pollute it. And so personally, I have seen that when we bring a level of compassion, understanding, there is this certain beauty, there's a certain like sense of understanding of where we can come into play and in supporting and protecting what we most need within our lives. To see the future that I want to live in is one that is regenerative and equitable. And one of the first steps in doing so is looking around your table. And I mean the table of leadership. And if you're seeing that BIPOC voices are not represented there, they're not adequately being represented, it's time to create space. It's time to bring up a chair and invite them in because there is no such thing as white saviorhood, but rather we need to work together collaboratively from all different backgrounds. Earth Guardians is a platform for youth to be empowered, inspired to be youth leaders at the local, national, and international levels. We provide them resources, tools, and trainings so that they feel supported in their work and that they can come forward and lead the future that they wanna see. How you can get involved at Earth Guardians is to join one of our crews. So you would go to earthguardians.org slash crews and find a local crew close to you or sign up to start one. And then you would be a part of our global family within our 250 crews in 60 different countries. Um, I believe that when we work together in community, when everybody has a seat at the table, we can bring forward the solutions possible to create a better climate, a better world, a more regenerative and equitable one, more sustainable, more just community. And I think the one thing that you can start implementing within your life is actively listening. And what I mean by that is actively listening to every participant, every leader within your organization, your home, your community and listen specifically to BIPOC communities, BIPOC youth, which means these marginalized communities, these indigenous groups, these black and brown communities who need your support, who need you to listen and raise and uplift using your privileges so that one day we all uphold and have the same privileges. May we all choose the practices of unconditional love so that we do not forget one another, but rather work to protect the being, the mother, the spirit.